Hello, my name is Rosa Maria Kostic Cisneros and I am collaborating with the Independent Theatre Hungary. I am here with Mihaela Dragan, um, who will be speaking with us about Del Duma. Welcome. Thank you for sitting down with me, Mihaela. Uh, how are you today? Thank you for inviting me. Uh, I'm fine. I'm just glad that the summer is gone. <laughs> it was too hot. Yes, <laughs> yes. Right. And where are you sitting today? Where are you based? Um, I am in Bucharest, in Romania. Okay, thank you. And so can you tell me a little bit about yourself, about your artistic practice? Uh, well, I'm a, I define myself as a multidisciplinary artist because I, I studied theater, so I'm an actor and a playwright. But in the last years, I also focused on performance art, on video art. Um, the, last, the last year in the lockdown, I was filming my, my first short. So yeah, I'm exploring other territories too. So I'll better define myself multidisciplinary artist than uh, an actor because uh, yes, this is, this, is my, this is my formation in the theater, but I am exploring and I am uh, I'm an artist who want, work in progress artists who always want to, to learn uh, and to work in other environments. <laughs> yes, yes. And so can you tell us a little bit about the work uh, Del Duma? Um, how, when you first create your relationship to the work and, how, and when you first were involved with the work? Yes, sorry, should, should I turn on the light because the sun yeah. today, or no, no, it's fine. Yes. So I started work, I wrote the play actually in, uh, at the end of 2020, the beginning of 2013. I had the premiere in, 2000, in June 2013, it was such a long time ago. And it was the first theater show that I created uh, and regarding my, my Roma identity. I remember that it was a year after I graduated the theater university and I had I had this plan, you know, that I will make only a single Roma theater show and afterwards I will return to the real theater, <laughs> you know, but becoming aware of the of of all these issues, the, the of becoming aware of the Eurocentrism and how we the Roma actors internalize, mm -hmm. you know, the standards and um, the way in which you know we should we should conform to the European standards, what is considered art, what is considered to be less art, if mm. it has also a political or a social component. So I think from that point when I've been working on Del Duma, tell them about me. Um, I just I felt that I I am aware, you know, that mm. I get I I woke up <laughs> yeah. from from this lie that the theater art should be, you know, uh, only in one way the way mm. in which the Europeans or the white people look at it. Mm. So that was the moment when I also decided to create a whole Roma theater company with Roma actors focusing on our identity and our culture and history and so on. Um, so I think this is a very nostalgic and important moment for me. <laughs> Yeah. remembering remembering the the process of working on Del Duma. It's a one-woman show. It's the first theater play that I wrote. It's a very close uh, topic that Del Duma touches. It's about early marriage, it's about womanhood, it's about Roma women. Mm. It's about the diversity in our community. It's about it's about deconstructing stereotypes about 
us, the Roma women, and also giving voice to the Roma women who who still don't have a voice. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to talk in their names, but in that moment I felt that I need to give this platform mm -hmm. <laughs> for for their voices, for the for the women whose voices need to be heard through a theater show. So basically Del Duma is a documentary theater show based on the interviews that I had with um, different Roma women from different Roma communities. And it's focusing on early marriage and um, also, it's, it, it's a lot of criticism regarding the way in which Roma women are seen in the society. But uh, now, looking back at the, um, at the theater play, and because it was the first theater play I wrote immediately after I graduated, it seemed that my discourse and my art practice, pra practice uh, in, just uh, you know it's so i'm so different now mm -hmm. <laughs> i do that i'm so different from sure. that moment and i think that you know that that's one of the the powers about art is that it's it's constantly evolving and it offers insight into a topic or into um, a reality and sometimes that's timeless and classic um, but also it's it's a journey and I think that it's important to remember that and as, as you're doing now and um, and in in remembering this journey do you have maybe a memorable moment either sharing it with the women or sharing it with family or something that comes to mind that is memorable to you about either performing it or writing about it there, there were so many memorable <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, moments and one of them is the meeting with one of the heroines of the, of the, of the show, of the place, Roxana. Mm -hmm. I, I wrote her story and is, is one of the stories from the, from the show and I think the meeting with uh, this woman impacted me a lot and empowered me a lot because she was a revolutionary in her community. She was part of a traditional Roma community that at that moment they, they were practicing early marriage. She made a whole revolution in her community, you know, um, promoting education and convincing parents to send their children to the school instead to get married. And yes, I, she was one of the person that I will always remember and she marked me a lot, she impacted me a lot. And also performing this show, I had so many important and meaningful meetings with the audience, with women uh, that were part of the audience and they found themselves in the, in the, in the theater show. Um, so yes, I will put on the top of the meeting with, with mm -hmm. Roxana, one of the, one of the women. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, from from that I interviewed and her story appears in the theater play. And what would you like audiences to know about the work or what would be maybe a message about the work? If there's only one, sorry, there are probably many, but <laughs> what would be some messages? Specifically about this theater show. Yeah. Yes. So I wanted them to think that um, early marriage is not is one of the biggest stereotypes about us, about Roma women, that we have to talk about because there are still women that you know confront this issue, and there there are also non-Roma women. So it's not a thing that is character characterized as as a community. So it. It's something very difficult to do in a theater play to talk about early marriage in the Roma community and at the same time not to reinforce the stereotype that this is a Roma practice. So mm -hmm. I want the audience to know the message is, is, is the way in which the, the whole society looks at the women 
and actually um, the virginity practice or the early marriage practice is a practice that it was brought by the Europeans, by the white people. It's not something that defines us as Roma people or as people of color. And the message will be, uh, will be focusing, will be addressed to all the people in power who needs to, to, to build protection and laws and institution to protect these, these girls and young women and to invest in their education because it's clearly, clearly a gender issue, not an ethnic issue. <laughs> And, and so can you um, maybe talk a little bit about um, the, the title of the work and, and if you had the title first or did that um, emerge as you were writing the piece? The title always come at the end. <laughs> this is how I'm always working and I'm very, uh, you know, I'm pretentious. I don't know if this is the word in English. I'm very, you know, I always want to have a good title <laughs> for, for my theater shows. And this is why I'm waiting so long. So it came somehow at the end because Del Duma means she speaks. And I wanted to have a title in Romani language. And yeah, and this little Duma she speaks and also tell them about me, about their story, because when I meet when I met Roxana, the girl that I told you about you, she wanted she had so many things to say to the world and she always repeated to me tell them about these issues and this issue and these issues tell them about our lives our our fights and our existence so this is how the title came up <laughs> that's beautiful and you know you've also said that you wanted to keep it a roma a roman a title in romanes in roma so um and can, can you talk a little bit of why you wanted to to do that and why that feels important to you because I want Roma people, when they hear the, the, the title, you know, to get directly to them. And I'm using Romani words many times in my theater shows, also as a statement, you know, as a, I, want, I want Roma people to hear and to find themselves there and to get used with the fact that there are Roma actors and the Romani language can be used in art institutions. So, yeah, I think I'm, I'm using a lot of Romani words and I like this. <laughs> Absolutely. And is there anything else you'd like to share with with um, with any with the people about your your work about this particular piece? Um, maybe you want people to know something about the the character or the names you've chosen or anything along those lines. Um. So. Yes, I have to. I have to say that uh, being a documentary theater show, all the stories are real, and or based on on reality. And it was important for me to 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 work like that and not to intervene so much with my voice, you know, as a as an artist, because I'm also a Roma woman, but I'm not coming from a traditional community as many of us, as I said. And many times I felt privileged that, you know, I, I had a lot of support from my family and many of the stories that I met documenting this, this theater play, they were, a lot of girls that they they had individual struggles in their community. So I felt so privileged that I I wanted to keep up a lot their their voice and not to intervene so much. And this is why I decided uh, to also put my own story in the theater show to start with my own story that it was so different than the rest of the stories because I wanted audience to know that there is a lot of diversity in our community and we are not an homogeneous group, you know, so I they don't have to put us in boxes, you know? So 
I don't know. I'm 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 curious now how people will look at this show after eight years. Mm. I'm also looking so different, <laughs> mm. so differently at it. So I I will, and also I, I want the audience to keep to keep this idea in their minds that early marriage is not an issue, it's not a practice, it's not a tradition, it's not a Roma tradition, it's an issue that is happening in many countries, in many, in many communities, even in the Western, there are a lot of forced marriages, so it's an issue regarding um, women, yeah. it's, not, it's not an ethnic issue, it's not something that defines us. <laughs> And um, thank you so much for, for offering that, that point and, and, and for creating this work that also honors the, the voices of so many um, women like Roxana um, and also your own story, because I think it, it's, it's so important to create spaces where people can engage and see material um, and see the diversity and plurality of, of the community. So thank you so much. And um, yes, I'm, I'm really uh, grateful that there is work like Del Duma that also is about pride for, for women and for Roma. Um, and, and, you know, I just thank you so much. So, yes. Thank you for much for having me and showing my first theater show. Yes. <laughs> thank you. It's a journey. We're all on the journey. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.